Hello, me again, and I'm going to respond to uh, some viewer questions. And actually, my hope is that this one will respond to two in, in one. Uh, the original question that spurred this particular configuration, this is on a 3x3 three three, uh, camouflage cube. This comes from uh, Quador, Q-U-U-A-D-O-R. Uh, his name is Kevin. And uh, he poses a question regarding this puzzle over here. So this question uh, uh, reads, uh, so he started to solve it as an AI cube, which is how to solve the 3x3 camouflage cube. And then he says, unfortunately, I'm at the last 2x2x2 two by two by two block again, and I'm unable to use my exact AI solve strategy. I probably shouldn't have ended with the unbandaged 2x2 two two block in the first place, but I don't want to change it now, uh, but I don't want to change it now. Either way, could you guide me through this in a video? Here's a picture, and he gave a picture that looked, well, somewhat like this. So as, as you can see, my color scheme is a uh, little different than his. I found that my red is where his orange is, but I think I got it to a fairly similar area. You can see the yellow on top. Instead of orange, mine is red, so you can see the red on top instead of the, the orange. And uh, instead of uh, blue, mine is green, so you can see the green where his blue is. Uh, otherwise, the yellows are the same. So this is what he's got. And the question is, how do I get through this? Now, this is going to be loosely related, potentially, to another question that I got by a viewer by the name of Felix uh, Lopez. And uh, he actually showed me a really fascinating um, puzzle over here, which was a mod that he had uh, created. Anyway, it looks like another version of a 2x2 two two bandaged cube. As, as you can see, it's got an AI solve. You can see different 2x2 two two blocks. And his question was how to solve that, that it seems like, unlike the normal AI cube, there's certain pieces that aren't equivalent. Well, it turns out that the way to solve that, I would do it the same way that I would solve this. So my hope is that looking at how I'm going to put this together will show him how to put the other uh, last 2x2 two two block together, because it's really the same mechanism. When you think about it, the 3x3 two the three three camouflage cube is a lot like the one that he showed in that each piece, although the colors may seem the same, they're all very different, very different in terms of size. So as you recall, what the 3x3 three three camouflage is, is actually a uh, 4x4 four four in disguise that's bandaged in variable ways. And it turns out that this part of it here is the only AI portion, the only 2x2x2 two by two by two portion that actually retains the 2x2x2 two by two by two characteristics. Here's a 2x2x2. Two by two by two. And in the 3x3 three three AI solve, you've got variable bandaging. So if I were to move it like this, you can see some of them just have a corner and an edge, but really this is a couple of pieces bandaged together. Some of them have uh, more pieces like so. But in this, you're going to find one piece or one set that has all of your 2x2x2 two by two by two blocks, which happens to be this one. And he just solved that last. And then there's going to be one just opposite that the entire 2x2x2 two by two by two AI portion is just consistent of one block, and that's this over here. So this one block is the actual, the entire 2x2x2 two by two by two, uh, components fused together. So this is fused together, and this is the only one that has all the 2x2x2 two by two by two blocks there. So basically what we have here is we have an AI puzzle where this has to be kind of rotated, these have to be rotated around. So here's the best way that I can think to do that. Well, first off, you're going to have to have a sacrificial lamb, which means you're going to have to sort of mess another one up to get this one in. But here's how I would do it. The first step with any AI solve, whether they're all different shapes or all different sizes or you don't have any equivalencies, the way to do it is get your corner and edge pieces all in. Don't worry about the centers. We've got an algorithm for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I need to take this green and uh, yellow and put it on top of this over here. So I'm going to move it out of the way like so. Now bear in mind um, I'm still retaining the various 2x2x2 two by two by two blocks. So I'm taking this and moving it out of the way over here. And then I'm going to turn this around so that I'm going to do RIDRD until this can match to this guy here. So all I'm doing is I'm making sure I'm just lining up all my corners with the edges because there's no great algorithm that's going to swap these guys around. So um, we just want to avoid that from, uh, happening as much as we can. So I'm going to move it to the side. Now I'm going to do RIDIRD until this is on the bottom to line up with this guy over here. Now we have to understand what goes with this 2x2x2 two by two by two block. So it's this this, 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 and this. So wherever this corner goes, it's going to drag all these others into its 2x2 two two block. So don't get confused by that. So R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. 
And again, R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. Okay, so I've got the, the green and the yellow on the bottom here, and I simply go splat. Okay, so as you can see, this is now lined up, and it might look like I've hopelessly caused horrible destruction, but uh, don't worry, it'll all make sense. So now that I have that, I've got this red and uh, this yellow and red. I want to match that up with this guy over here. Um, so in order to turn that, I'm going to RIDRD this until this is down, but unfortunately you can see it's going to bump into this guy over here. So what I want to do is I want to move this back into here. So we're going to RIDRD this until this is down. R-I-D-I-R-D. R-I-D-I-R-D. Now, it's no use to keep going to try to turn this so that this red and yellow is facing down to try to line up with this because it's going to come into conflict with this guy over here. When I try to move it, it won't move with here uh, because of this. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this back to here and this back to here. And how that's going to work, anytime you're in a situation where you don't want to mess up these guys, these guys over here, and you want this to move here, and this to move here, is you simply move it in, like this, then you move it once more. Then we're going to do an adjacent corner swap, because by doing that corner swap, this will move into here, because they'll have swapped. And then this guy will move where it's supposed to be with this over here. So, once again, if you wanted to swap these two, so to speak, you move it in, move it once more, and do a corner swap. So these are basic AI strategy moves. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Turn the puzzle, 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. Then I would just move it once, and this will be back in, this will be back in, and uh, these two will be fine. So basically what I've done is I've retained this position over here. This is now in, and now I need to move it uh, in to this position over here. Now again, I can't move it here and then turn it because this is going to butt heads with it. Alright, so you can see that uh, this is back in. Now this guy belongs over here. So I'm going to take this and move him next to this guy here. So swap these two. 2R, two U, 2R, UI, 2R, 2 R, U, I, 2, R, U, 2, R. Okay, so the, these are the key ones that we've, been, that we've been dealing with. Now what I want to do is I want to take this, once again move it out and line it up with one of these guys, but I can't do it with this on the bottom because when I turn this over here, um, as you can see, if I turn this upside down like, like it was before, this is going to block it. That's what we tried to avoid. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and turn it upside down. So um, this is going to end up on the bottom. So R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D, and again, because that's not going to do us any good like that, R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. Okay, why did I do that? Well, here's why I did that. So if I move this into here, now this will be able to be freed up. So I want to move this red and yellow to here, right? So I'm going to move it over here. And now this isn't going to be bandaged by anything, so I'm going to now take this and turn it upside down to where this is going to be on the top. So R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. So I'm just coordinating the movement here. Move this over here and bang. So now this is in and this is in. These corners are all in. Uh, now all I have to do is take this red and green and move it to here, while at the same time matching up this yellow and orange to this yellow and orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this. Now don't worry about these centers. These are going to come later. I'm just trying to match up the corners. And if this is confusing, it's just the way you do any AI solve. So we don't want to lose our perspective with this. Bang. Okay. So what I want to do is this moves here so that this corner can be lined up with this. And this corner will be lined up here. And now in order to do a nice swapping without affecting these guys, we use that same strategy, which is move it in, then move it once beyond, and now do an adjacent corner swap. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Turn the puzzle. 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. 
and then move it splat. Now I know it looks like we're hopelessly mixing it up, but we're actually not, because what you're going to see is now all these corners are matched up with edges, corner edge edge, corner edge edge, corner edge, corner edge edge edge. So let's go ahead and uh, get these two next to each other again. 2R U, 2R UI, 2R turn, 2R UI, 2R U, 2R. Now, when you're doing an AI type solve and you end up with a situation in any of the puzzles, whether it's this one or it's uh, the one that um, uh, Felix had shown me, uh, if you're in a situation where you have unequivalencies of any pieces, this is how to get out of this in a jam. Get all the corners in. Now we've got to put in the centers. To do this is we do a three cycle algorithm that I had to develop when doing one of the bandaged mega minxes that, uh, uh, that I had gotten. But basically what this algorithm will do is we'll take this, move it to here, this to here, and this to here. So let's set things up in a way that's going to make use of that. Well, I can see that this red wants to come over to here, or this green wants to come over to here. So I think what I need to do is I need to flip-flop these guys. So, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, turn, 2R, UI. Algorithms are like tools. They play a function, should you need them. Okay. D. Now we're going to try to get as many in as possible. Well, here's, here's what'll happen. This yellow will go here, this green will go here, this red will go here. So really I'm just putting one in, but that's better than none. But at least this will show you what this algorithm is, and I've shown this before. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to start off on this side, the right side, and doing a clockwise rotation. So when I say clockwise rotation, you're doing the RIDIRD cycle twice. When I say, say counterclockwise rotation, you just do it once. So this will be a clockwise rotation. So it's going to be RIDIRD, RIDIRD. That's once. Now do it again. RIDIRD. That was twice. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to do a U move to bring this from the right to the left. Now we do a counterclockwise rotation here, so it's an RIDIRD once on the left. RIDIRD, RIDIRD. You did it once and now simply move it with a UI, move it back. Now you're going to do the same thing but on the other side. On the left side, do a clockwise rotation, so that's RIDIRD twice. R I D I R D R I D I R D. That's once. Do it again. R D. That's twice. Now, same thing. Move it to here from left to right. And now do an R I D I R D with one cycle counterclockwise. So R I D I R D R I D I R D. And I'll simply move it back with a U. So that's the first part. Now, what you want to do is to sort of I don't know, reset things again. Take it from the right side and do a clockwise rotation. So that's R-I-D-A-R-D twice. R-I-D-I-R-D. R-I-D-I-R-D. That's once. And again. R-D. Oops. Yeah, D. D. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do a counterclockwise rotation to bring it here. Now do, rather, you're going to do a UI to bring it here. And now do another clockwise rotation by doing that pattern twice. R I D I R D R I D I R D. And again, D I R D. And now move it back with a U. Here's what you're going to find. This did not affect these at all. And you actually did rotate your centers. These are just a little bit off. So in order to bring it back to where it was before in its original conformation, let's move this back with a counterclockwise rotation so that this is here. And I would do the same thing here, counterclockwise rotation. This just brings it back to where it was uh, to begin with. So notice this green one is in. So this, which was a yellow one, did go to here. This green one went to here, and this red one went to here. So that's the algorithm that you need to know, and in a pinch it'll get you through any type of AI situation. So let's see what needs to happen here. Well, this needs to come here, now, let's see if we can coordinate a three cycle between these guys. So let's set this up. 
Okay, so if we do that algorithm twice, this will go here and then here. This will go here and then here. This will go here and then here. So we do that pattern twice, and it'll put all of our centers where it needs to be. So I'm going to quickly go through it twice just to demonstrate it, because it's a useful strategy. It's not really a huge algorithm. You're just doing RIDIRDs. So start off on the right side, doing it twice. RIDIRD, RIDIRD. That's once. Do it again. Now move it from left on the top, or rather from uh, right on the top to the left, and now do it once. R I D I R D R I D I R D. Upon doing that, simply move it back. Now with the left, do it twice. It's the same thing that you did before. And again, D. Now move it from left to right here, and I'll just do it once. R I D I R D. D I R D, and now this moves back. Now with the right, do it twice. R I D I R D, R I D I R D, R I D I R D. Swing it from the left to the right, and now once again do it twice. R D, R I D I R D, R I D I R D, and you swing it back. So the algorithm was done to reset it in its original position. Do a RIDARD cycle just once over here, and do it just once on the left side. And there you have it. So now we just do one more. This will go to here, this will go to here, and this will go to here. So once again, real quick, do it twice here, and again. Move it in. And now once here, pop it back. And I'll do it twice here. Do not speed cube this one, it can pop on you. Move it into here, do it once. And move it back. Now we'll do this part twice again. Move it in like so, and I'll move it twice. R D and move it back. And look what you did. You have rotated all of your centers where they need to be. You now have this basically in a two by two form. You now have a camouflage two by two. You've reduced it from a camouflage three by three to a camouflage two by two. And now it's just a matter of doing a two by two solve which it's almost pretty much done. This goes into here, this comes here, and it's done. Solved. Now, the important thing about this strategy is any number of your questions can be done exactly the same way. It's a useful strategy to do, so if you have any puzzle that you deemed possible to solve using an AI strategy, but the bandaging makes it to where you can't do it like a normal AI solve, but you have full capacity to, to do RIDARDs, do this strategy, get your corners, line it up with your edges, and then put your centers in with that strategy and you should solve it just fine. So hopefully that helps. Keep the questions coming. Thanks for watching.